Okay, hello everyone and welcome back. I hope you're all having a fantastic day today as always. And I'm sorry I've been inactive over the past few days. I've been uh, been pretty sick. I've been pretty fucked up over the past couple of days. And instead of getting up, being productive and doing something good, I binge watched the entirety of Invincible. Really good program. 8.5 out of 10. It would have been a 10 out of 10, but some of the episodes dragged on a bit. I highly suggest you watch it. But that's not what we're here to talk about. Today I thought it'd be quite interesting to search up Jay Schlatt under Twitter because I was just wondering, he's been inactive on YouTube for over a month and I wanted to see if people still talk about him and holy shit, he's still right there. You type fucking JS into Twitter search bar and it comes up with Jay Schlatt, Jay Schlatt cancelled and Jay Schlatt racist. Like, fuck's sake, man. But before we get into this, if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, it really, really helped me out and... You know, it made me happy. I'm a, I'm a sick, dying old man. Please like and subscribe so I can feel happy once again before I kick the bucket. So I didn't actually make a video on this when his video originally went out. But Jay Schlatt hasn't uploaded in over a month. And they're still trying to put his head on a stick and place it outside of the Twitter's HQ. Just so everyone knows that he's fucking dead. The, these people want blood and they're not stopping. This has been going on for over a month. Ever since he released this last video, Twitter has not stopped trying to cancel him and tried in big capital letters because they haven't succeeded. But for those of you who don't know, Jay Schlatt over a month ago made a controversial video as he always does. It, it, it's fucking Jay Schlatt. But if you haven't seen the clip already, I'll play it for you now. Here we go. Oh, no. Brace for impact. Uh, I'm kind of happy I went early. Okay. Got All right. Like all of us, I have an issue because I'm always craving saying slurs. Now, here's a solution to not get canceled for saying slurs. Because we all know about identity. And if you identify as an oppressed group... <laughs> what? That's you can use the, oh. the old art <laughs> of blackface. <laughs> And, th and through this, oh, you won't man. get cancelled for saying slurs, <laughs> no, but man. you might get cancelled for something else. <laughs> oh, right. Man. It's a plea bargain, yeah. you know? You didn't right. run a red light, but maybe you, were, maybe you weren't buckled up. Right. Yeah. You right. can hit I'm done now. Do this, <laughs> 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 okay. Important thing to note, first up, Jay Schlatt is not the one that made this joke, he just laughed at it. This joke was made by other content creator Swagger Souls, who also doesn't give a shit about being cancelled. So, that sucks. And, however, another important thing to note is the fact that this actual clip, the blackface clip, was originally a part of the thumbnail until he changed it to Dumb Bird, obviously referencing Twitter. Now, I know a lot of people were more turned on to this video being like, holy shit, he made a joke about blackface, that's, that's fucked up. However... You guys do realise that was his intention, right? Jay Schlatt wants to get cancelled because it's good publicity. He's always on trending, so more people are constantly seeing him on trending and being like, whoa, who's Jay Schlatt? Click on his video, and boom, more fans. Maybe they'll get pissed off, maybe they'll make an angry tweet about it, and then all the all their followers, the people that made the tweet, all their followers are going to see that tweet, think, hey, who's Jay Schlatt? Go to Jay Schlatt, more fucking followers. There you go. It's just, an, it's just a vicious cycle that Cancel Coach is playing into, and every single video j -Slot uploads, he knows that Twitter's going to react this way, and he plays into it. So I don't know why Twitter keeps giving him the attention he wants. But instead of just breaking down the whole situation and going back over it and explaining to you why it's stupid, because I'm sure you have more than two brain cells and can figure out why this whole situation is stupid, Especially after it being over a month and they're still going for his throat. But instead of doing that, I thought we'd just actually read some of the tweets that these Lordites have put out. And just try and see their perspective on it. And you know what, we'll, we'll review them together as a group. Jay Schlatt is a racist and anyone who associates with him is racist too. Fuck off. So, recently, on May the 4th, Minx, just a Minx, obviously... She's known for being uh, close to Jay Schlatt. And she tweeted out, At George Not Found, you look cute with glasses. Pretty harmless tweet, right? Nothing nothing major there. He just, look, just looks cute with glasses. What? What's wrong with that? Oh no, she's been, she's been attacked. Minx on her second account tweeted, This isn't normal behaviour. 
with a bunch of people just fucking shitting on her for even going close to fucking George Not Found. Someone actually quote tweeted this saying, You defended your BFF who said racially charged anti LGBTQ things. You dragged Dream, correct me if I'm wrong. What, the other day? You're close with Schlatt and his shitty group. Sorry if we're uncomfy with you openly trying to interact with George Not Found. And, and here's the best part. Here is the best part. Schlatt actually replied to Minx's tweet saying, Get behind me, George. I got this. <laughs> he just doesn't care. Now, a bit more on the aggressive side. We have a small thread here from someone saying, I'm so upset at myself because they are literally still friends with Jay Schlatt. And I still got surprised that KJ, assuming that means Carl Jacobs, had a past hanging out with such a racist person. This is why I always have one foot out the door. This is why I'm so scared to fully commit anymore. Why I just can't live. My race is always the joke. I am always the joke. Why am I surprised at this? That's what I'm asking myself because at this rate, I'm going to have to assume every streamer I see has been like this so I don't end up getting disappointed in the end, deleting this later, but I'm so unhappy right now. Holy shit. First up, I'm deleting this later. It's literally six or seven days later, so I don't know how much later you're going to delete this. But this person is actually blaming themselves for interactions on their favourite streamer, Carl fucking Jacobs. Now, I'm assuming she's talking about the whole Ice Poseidon situation, and obviously saying that, oh, well, I know he said he's changed since Ice Poseidon, but he's still friends with Jay Schlott. Jay Schlott's racist, right? Wrong. Jay Schlott's not fucking racist. And they're the ones saying, oh yeah, my race is always a joke. I'm always the joke. Why am I surprised at this? Well, because it's just a fucking generalisation. That's the whole joke. The whole joke is generalizing the people so it pisses them all off and then makes more comedy, more content. You're not single-handedly the victim of every single fucking joke, are you? And why are you upset at yourself? You had nothing to do with this. Jay Schlatt doesn't know who the fuck you are. Carl Jacobs doesn't know who the fuck you are. You're just, you're just blaming yourself for their behavior for no reason. This is, this is bad. This is bad behavior. If anyone acts like this, just give them a slap on the wrist or just tell them they're bad. Just send them to bed with no supper. This is just this is just not normal behaviour. And to finish our venture into the pits of hell, we've got a, another small thread here. Okay, that's it. I've had enough. I really hate how Tommy uses KSI for content, knowing he's transphobic, a wrong gun, etc. It makes me uncomfortable and upset. I don't think Tommy is transphobic since he has proven himself to be an ally multiple times. Put a pin in that for now. We're going to we're gonna talk about that later. But sometimes it's really annoying how he hangs out with the same transphobic people like KSI and Jay Schlatt and then also supports trans people. I understand that he looked up to Schlatt a lot, but there is a line where he used someone's transphobic slash racist mindset for content or clout. It's tiring because I love Tommy, I really do, but him using those situations for jokes is just hurtful. I don't give a fuck, say all you want, it's for content, don't watch it, but it's fucked up and I hate it. Now, I have a, a lot of problems here. Number one, remember that little pin we put in? Uh, we put in? We're going we're gonna to take that pin out and we're going to talk about it. I don't think Tommy is transphobic since he's proven himself to be an ally multiple times. Right, so, big content creators like fucking KSI, obviously done charity work before, right? Do not worry, this does all link back together. So KSI, over the past couple of years, obviously not last year, year before, COVID, shit like that, they used to do Sidemen charity football matches versus YouTube All-Stars, where they just gather a bunch of famous faces around YouTube and obviously add a couple of people to the Sidemen group and they'd have a big charity football match for different, different causes. And these were huge successes. And they were extremely, extremely beneficial. So the first charity match donated to a charity called the Saints Foundation, which is just like a Southampton football club, but which just helps children and, you know, football, good, not really relevant. But the next two went to Childline and Young Minds, 
which are extremely, extremely big front runners for helping young people discover their sexuality, their gender, and really help a lot of people who are dealing with the conversion to different genders and different sexualities. Now, I don't know about you, but that does sound like KSI has done a huge charity event because he is one of, if not the leading face of the Sidemen, being the most famous and the most popular. The the front runner for the Sidemen doing the Sidemen charity matches, directly donating and helping people discover who they are. I, I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like KSI is a fucking ally, and that took me one Google search to find that out. So, fuck you, Troglodyte. Can the same be said about Jay Schlatt? Probably not. Jay Schlatt's character is always like, you know, oh yeah, uh, races for fun, you know, that kind of character. That's <laughs> such, a, such a bad way to represent his character. Jesus Christ. However, his other channel, The Weekly Slap, did help a lot of situations like this. The Weekly Slap was J Slots on the channel where every week, originally it was every week, people would email him with their problems and he would discuss it on video for a massive platform so loads of people could obviously see these problems, relate, and get advice. And some of these problems were about sexuality and about gender and about the struggles they were facing and he would just talk them down. What? Would you, could you believe that? To me, it sounds like he's also an ally of transgender people. Already, whole thing debunked. Took me one minute of explanation. So that was pretty easy. But I'm not done. Sometimes it's really annoying how he hangs out with the same transphobic people. It, they're not fucking transphobic. And hanging out with transphobic people doesn't make you transphobic. Just for this, let's assume that KSI and JSHOT are transphobic. Would that make Tommy transphobic for being friends with them? A good analogy I heard recently is that if you fucking, if you were friends with someone in primary school, you were their best friend, you used to hold hands, run around the playground, you were close, and then obviously at high school, different schools, you never saw them again. If that friend then went on to commit mass fucking genocide, would you be to blame for this? Because you, you used to be friends with them, but you've moved, you've moved on a little since then, and you don't really condone it. So, I mean... <laughs> Used to be a big fan of them. I mean, do you see where I'm leading with this? I don't think he's guilty of their actions. It's tiring because I love Tommy. I really do. But him using those situations for jokes is just really hurtful. This is what I can kind of believe in. Just because Tommy may use some of these jokes and may poke fun at some of these people. Which obviously isn't really, isn't really good. But at the same time, it's, it is all for content and you just don't have to watch it. It's fucked up and I hate it. Watch something else. No one is forcing you to watch it. It's so fucking stupid. Everyone acts like this is their only source of entertainment. Like, oh, I have to, I have to watch Tommy in it or my brain's going to explode. Go outside. Go do something. Go make friends. You probably have none. Just go do something better than watching Tommy in it and tweeting about how he looked at you weird through his fucking camera lens. Jesus Christ. So that concludes today's pointless rant. I hope you've all had a fantastic time. I surely didn't. That was pain in the ass. But please let me know what you thought of this whole situation in the comments down below. And please feel free to like, subscribe, check out some of my other content. It'd really help me out. And I'll see you all very, very soon.